what the seaweed that really tells the story of the West Coast. This is the fastest growing plant on the planet. It starts off on December 21st, the winter solstice, as a microscopic type of score, uh, spore, and it starts to grow. This is one, this is only what, eight months growth so far. It's the infamous bull kelp, Nariocystis, and it will continue to grow until September 21st, the, um, the fall equinox. It's a heavy seaweed, I've been har calling her calling this around for a bit, bull kelp, and it has, it shows the fronds so beautifully, and very soft like tresses, very clean, no smell. This is the big um, uh, float part. First Nations used this to, um, for ooligan oils. First Nations also use seaweeds such as this to create, um, to make uh, rope, and uh, for the black cod fishery, but the seaweed and kids, of course, excellent skipping rope, and uh, but no root system on a seaweed. People ask me, well, what's different between a seaweed of an ocean garden and what's going on in the land garden? So the ocean garden, it does not have a root system. It has this beautiful, smooth, textured hole fast, so it clings to rocks, and by clinging to rocks, it is not anchored in a soil. It's not anchored in a sediment, so it cannot take nutrients up through a soil. They are designed to rise up in the water column, very sleek, very sexy, and they move right up. This seaweed will be an impressive 35, 30 to 35 meters by the end of August, and so the fastest growing plant on the planet. I always say when I take out, uh, you know, high school kids on the tours, that to entice them, we go out and take a look at sex on the beach. And the sex on the beach here is right here. This is the reproductive area of the seaweed. And so in harvesting seaweed, it's very important to know, you know, you harvest them away from the reproductive area. And that's what we do. So we, you know, I know where, and how and what with all the seaweeds. So when we harvest, we keep it clear allows the seaweed to continue to grow and, and to reproduce. All of which is critical in a world now where we are gobbling up our wild resources. Anyway, okay. that's it. Thanks.